Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to another edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, we're at the point now on this motor build that we're ready to install uh, the front timing cover. Um, so I'm going to use a new uh, GM uh, front cover seal. Uh, but it's also important that when we install this, uh, that we get the timing cover aligned properly. Uh, of course, flush here at the top. Uh, but even left to right is important as well, so that when you install the front crank seal, uh, you don't end up with a leak. <clears throat> so to help with that, there's a company called Sac City Corvette. Uh, so they make it their, uh, what they call their Alanit series of tools. Uh, this simulates, um, so this here's the front timing cover without the uh, front crank seal in it. So this seats down into it, and then when you put it, get the seal out of the way um, this centers it on the crankshaft uh, so that we can line up our our bolts so now this is was kind of snug uh, you want to lubricate the o-ring that's on here and then uh, you seat it down into the front cover apologize I'm doing that off camera but It's a very snug fit, but here's what it looks like once it's in there. Uh, make sure it's seated properly all the way around so it, it's not cockeyed. And we take a couple of our bolts. Hold this thing in place. Now it's important to make sure we get this top uh, flush so that when we put the oil pan down, right, we got three different surfaces coming together here and we want to make sure we don't have any leaks and that everything sits flush so we'll, when we put the oil pan gasket on, uh, it doesn't leak. So you can set a straight edge across here. That's just got it snug in place so it doesn't move on us. Check that, make sure that's flush. Okay. Now these get uh, torqued to 18 foot pounds, and then we'll be able to take this piece out, and then we'll also use this tool uh, to install the front uh, crank seal. Here we go. Uh, now we'll pull this out and we'll install our front uh, crank seal. Okay, so we're ready to install the front crank seal. Uh, be sure to wipe out this outer lip of the uh, crank seal. These seals go in dry. <clears throat> so here's a new seal. We can use the tool. A rubber mat. Okay. 
there we go. This tool makes it really easy to install that front cr crank seal uh, because as you get it, once you get it started, uh, the tool aligns itself anyway on the uh, the crank. And this is a, a little bit more accurate way uh, of installing this seal. Um, and well, not just installing the seal, but aligning the uh, the timing cover. Uh, if you already had a seal installed, they also make uh, another tool that's a little smaller that simulates the hub of like your uh, front dampener, and you can align the front timing cover based off of that. But obviously, the seal has some flex in it, uh, so it's not quite as accurate as using this without the seal installed. Uh, so I prefer to use this, and this is the plastic version, but honestly. Uh, it seems pretty well made, so good job Sac City uh, Corvette on this. They also have one uh, for installing the rear uh, main seal. Um, I have that as well, so when we get to that point, I'll show you that tool uh, in addition. So that's how you install the front timing cover and the front crank seal.